Obviously, one of the more interesting developments this week has been the fact that uh, active controlled side sticks or active side sticks for fly-by-wire control systems have all of a sudden become part of the vernacular for business aviation. Gulfstream talked about it the other day, and obviously uh, uh, a company with an incredible background like yours in phenomenal aerospace developments is now taking on this particular task for the business aviation community as well. Can you give us an overview of what you're attempting to accomplish with the active side stick program? So yes, uh, there are a lot of noise you know, this week uh, with these uh, new developments. The uh, active technology is very important for the uh, increase of the safety of the system of the aircrafts today. These jets are more and more often using fly-by-wire system and the active side stick is the right tool to exploit to its maximum the capability of this new fly-by-wire system. So today this technology was not very well developed because there are a lot of challenge in the technology by itself. The way you can pull back the information from the computer and send it back to the pilot so he can have really the feeling of what the aircraft is doing, which is not existing with a passive side stick. Passive side stick give a, a, a basic feedback based on the spring technology. So, you know, when you, when you do, you move your stick, you know, you have a certain resistance feeling based on spring technology. Mm -hmm. On this type of technology here, we are using electrical motors, which are really giving back the complete feeling to the pilot. It's an innovation which is reproducing the old time where you have your yoke, the two yokes we are linked together, and what we are doing today with this new technology is just reproducing this old feeling which was really the, the best one. Here you have a technology which allowed the pilot and the co-pilot to understand exactly what the other is doing. What the pilot is doing, the co-pilot can feel it. They cannot have different inputs. The system is done in a way that the pilot, if he wants to go on the left, the co-pilot cannot go on the right on his side. So the system is really representing what really the, the aircraft is doing. We have been testing this equipment with a lot of pilots for the last year now. All the feedback are very important for us because they were able to give us you know, what was wrong, what was good, and so we were able to adjust. The fantastic uh, power of the system is that it's, it's very versatile, so it's done in a way that you can program and you can do everything you want, mm -hmm. you know, so you can customize fully to the philosophy of the aircraft manufacturer or the helicopter manufacturer, mm -hmm. you know, the use on, of the equipment. Meet Sam, the new 2-inch standby attitude module from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. Sam offers selectable horizontal and vertical orientation like no other, guaranteeing the perfect fit within any panel. Learn more at FlySam.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Through the force feedback scenario that's now uh, made capable by the stick, are you able to produce additional information in regards to, say, stick shaker and the like? Uh, as well, and is that proportional, or can that actually be done to mimic overall uh, aerodynamic properties of the airplane? Completely. So, meaning that uh, the way it has been set up, we can simulate plenty of different effects, okay, which can be customized to the way you want. You can have a speed, uh, like vibration, you can have, a, you know, different effect on the, on the stick, and it can be customized the way you want. You can define the laws which allow to make it uh, smooth at the beginning and, and stronger and stronger and stronger in, in, uh, with the effort. Mm -hmm. And you get this effort because we are getting back information from the flight computer on exactly how the forces which are applied on the aircraft. And so they are sent back to the stick and you can transmit this information by sensation to the pilot. With a passive side stick, the pilot needs to have the stick in the end, but also to have a certain number of information coming from the system, like warnings and so on. For, with this type of system, it's completely different. You know, we, we, the safety is increased because of the pilot doesn't have to look or to get an alarm. He's just feeling the alarm and feeling the, 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 everything in his hands. And he has the, the direct feedback without you know, having to surveil or to see some different annunciators. And yet you've built enough force gradient in this that there's little possibility of uh, conflict between both pilots to the point where one could override the control of the other 
uh, especially considering which one's uh, master and secondary under the circumstances. Yeah, so after it's a, it's a question also of philosophy of the aircraft manufacturer. But you know, the, the system has been done in a way that if there is a conflict between the two pilots, they are doing different input to the stick. You can have configuration where you have a master and a slave. So whatever is going to happen, you know, the master will take over the final order. The other one will not transmit any information. But you can have also another configuration where the two sticks have the same power. And in this case, we have a limit where when we have the maximum effort on both of the sticks, in this case, we average, you know, the over effort. The computer after that is taking a little part of it. But, you know, uh, I think uh, if you go to the maximum power, you already know that there is a problem and you are out of, out of the limit. The TI-250 DC to AC inverter pumps out 250 watts of clean, regulated AC cabin or cockpit power. It's perfect for laptops, iPads, tablets, chargers, and special missions equipment. Available from your local avionics dealer. Finally, the extraordinary story of the world-changing XPRIZE space competition is being told and illustrated with hundreds of insider photos in Jim Campbell's colorful new book, Beyond the Blue. Journey with Jim as he flies formation with spaceships, plays in zero gravity, prepares rocket racers, and documents the amazing first decade of the personal space race. Available this summer. Get your advance order in now by checking out www.kindredspirit.com. Where might we see uh, the implementation of uh, first uh, active side six technology? Is there an OEM already that's prepared to adopt this technology? I think uh, some OEMs uh, are using some active technology from competitors today, but I, it's a, it is a, it is a starting. And I think a lot of what we saw for the last two days uh, yes. give us a lot of hope on the fact that we should be in, the, uh, in a situation in the next uh, months where we will have certainly some opportunities to, to, to fly test you know, this type of equipment. The way it has been set up, it can be used, you know, with the same part number, we can use this technology on an helicopter or on a beach jet or on a big aircraft. The capability of reprogramming everything inside the computer of the uh, SciSeq allow, you know, whatever configuration is possible. The system has been done to be as small as possible. One size stick is weighing around 10 kilos. We target to decrease this volume and to miniaturize a little bit. We hope to reach you know, a 7 kilos target, so which is already smaller and lighter than a passive stick. Mm -hmm. We hope to have a product which can be certified by 2016, 2017 on our own you know, uh, financing. But if we get a program to fit it, we will certainly go faster and uh, we have plenty of hope that it's going to go much faster. And today we have equal opportunity on both the helicopter side and the beach jet side. But this is really something which is important for beach jets because I think beach jets is like, you know, you have your own car and you like to customize your car and to have the, you know, the highest technology. And this, when you see this type of aircraft, with, uh, with, which has a very high level of technology, fly-by-wires, electrical system, you know, this is a perfect equipment you know, to satisfy you know, this level of, of, uh, of uh, experience and, and, uh, and requirements that you can have for this type of aircraft. So the pilots, I can tell you, the experience we have with the pilots uh, since a year now, it's very, very positive, and we are, we are very convinced that uh, in a very short period of time, you will see this type of equipment on board different helicopters and aircraft.